the National Museum of Ireland Country Life is in a stunning location and it's just outside of Castle Bar and has a purpose-built gallery that goes along down by our terraced gardens here on our 25-acre site. My name is Clodagh Doyle and I'm the keeper of the Irish Folklife Collection that's based in the National Museum of Ireland Country Life. We've been here 20 years and the collection that we have is the normal everyday items associated with people's lives. So we're reflecting Irish culture through the ordinary everyday and a lot of the objects you see are from probably two or three generations away. We're on three levels, so the first floor is kind of an introduction and it shows that romantic idea of Ireland in the past. We've got the normal everyday items that people used, so they recycled everything, they used everything around them. The natural environment was what they used to craft things. There's an amazing revival back to basket making and pottery and you know we're, we're constantly looking to the past for inspiration and a lot of people come and look at our collection and do get inspiration from it and, and nostalgia and it's just the beauty of the simplicity of the everyday and, and something that's made from natural materials. All our objects have a story behind them. There's always a personal story. We don't want anything that's just straight from a shop. We want the people behind the objects so that there's almost that the people, the folk themselves, are embodied in the, that object. This iron jumper is very special because it's traveled way from the Aran Islands, but it's also traveled all the way over to New York um, a few years ago. And it was part of a big fashion exhibition that is fashion modern. So I can't imagine that the knitter who knitted it in the 40s would have ever imagined that it could end up being in a fashion exhibition and that this would be such a fashion piece and would become such an iconic object associated with Ireland and, and fashion. These are wonderful Irish dancing costumes. I'm going to take up the smallest of them because it's so small. Um, but they're beautiful costumes and these are actually um, belonging to Kathleen and Mary McLaughlin in Leeds in 1971. They were made for them. And you know, they're re they were made by their mother who was Mary, who, who was Irish and now lives back here, in, had moved back to Ireland and she wanted to donate these. The girls had been in Delaney's dance school, but the costumes were very expensive to get made. But Mary knew she could make them if she got the pattern herself, so she made them herself. And, you know, they're just really beautiful. People, when they walk into a museum, sometimes they can't connect with the objects. These, these are everyday objects. They're, they're part of people's lives. They're just part of their history. and they bring back all that memory and it's in us. All these objects, they're part of who we are. This is a museum that's all about people and the ordinary every day. And it, I think it's well worth anyone who wants to come and visit us when they're next up in Mayo or make that special journey because it's, it's a beautiful place to be in a beautiful county. And you hopefully will see the, the objects and have the memories and the connections to our objects. Um, because they're all about they're all about you, the visitor.